Hi everyone, we are back again with another interesting episode of how to ace the hackathon. The purpose behind this talk show is basically for the first time aspirants to make the Smart India Hackathon process more simpler and finally concluding it to become a winner. This talk show specially curates a bunch of previous edition Smart India Hackathon winners which talks about their first hand experiences about the hackathon. So without further ado, we welcome another previous year edition, Mr. Shivanan on the show. Hi Shivanan, and we hope uh, you are as excited as we are. Yeah, sir. Hi, hello, everyone. Great, great. I hope you're doing fine. And uh, to start with, for uh, all the people who are listening and watching to this show right now, I would like to firstly congratulate you again to be uh, a Thank previous year winner. And uh, I would yeah. like to start this discussion with, you know, a basic experience. Uh, in a nutshell, how was Smart India Hackathon for you uh, as an experience was? So, Yeah, sure. Uh, so first of all, I want to convey that uh, Smart India Hackathon is a really uh, a good platform for uh, UG st uh, students to experience uh, and display their innovative and creative ideas. So uh, there has always been uh, this taunt about Indian education system that they do not uh, serve a practical implications of what they teach in the curriculum. So I think uh, government has brought a great initiative called Smart India Hackathon, where, where our students uh, can actually, uh, apart from their curriculum or learning, uh, step up to uh, bring up their ideas, display them, and uh, go to be winners. Right. Great. Rightly said. Uh, so, Shivanan, if I may ask, what was the first time? How was it uh, that you heard about Smart India Hackathon? Yeah, actually, uh, I, I had been practicing, uh, participating in hackathons uh, earlier also. Uh, before participating in Smart India Hackathon, I was a uh, winner of hack uh, pre like other hackathons too. So, I was very keen in participating in hackathons. Uh, and I knew already that some of my seniors were winners of Smart India Hackathon too. So I knew through that, uh, basically through my seniors. Perfect. So basically the idea for us also was to, you know, create awareness and ecosystem among every institute ev at every corner of this country, you know, and to come up yeah. with uh, innovative solution so that finally it in turns helps the nation in, in further development. So that's great. So as you told that your seniors were also uh, participants of Smart India Hackathon. So you were very much familiar yeah. with it. So we'll go. Yeah, in fact, yeah, uh, they were winners. Yeah. Okay, great. So you have a legacy of uh, you know Smart India Hackathon winners in your college. So that's that's something yeah. great. Yeah, good, good. So Shivanan, uh, as you all also are aware that you know this talk show is basically for the first time aspirants who will be in turn the participants and finally maybe the winners as well. So let's talk in that uh, uh, in that context where something. Uh, from your end can act as an input for these participants or aspirants and in turn help them during the entire process of Smart India Hackathon. So to start with uh, the initial phase where you know the initially the idea has to be submitted against uh, a particular problem statement. So what was your problem statement which ministry uh, you were competing for and you know uh, what was the initial uh, experience for the initial idea submission? Yeah, that's a great question actually. So I'll break down your question and answer, uh, question and answer accordingly. So uh, first of all, my ministry which I competed for was a DRDO, Defense Research and Development Organization. And my problem statement was detecting and identifying uh, drones in sensitive establishments and tracking them uh, and tell them whether they are approaching or exceeding. This was, uh, uh, I gave a gist of the problem statement. And coming to the second part, uh, important things that has to be done uh, to you know uh, go through the IDA, uh, IDA submission phase uh, to the next phase. So a very important thing is that first of all, it's very important to have a good team. You know, the team should comprise of uh, expertise along all the domain. For example, I am from electronics domain. One should be there who is from software domain who can code up platforms well. One should be there who is really good at presentation. A person should be there who can manage the team well. That's the leader. 
so it's really important to have a good team and to uh, it's no uh, the smart india hackathon is a very big hackathon it's the largest hackathon uh, it has a, around 400 for our uh, time it had around 400 software problem statements so it's really important at the first stage itself which problem you choose because you know further you are going to implement it right so uh, there should be a careful thought uh, sitting with the team and going through all the problem statements and picking those which interests you uh, like which is the which is the expertise of your team there should be a gut feeling that you would win if you choose that problem uh, problem statement and one more trick is that Uh, you can actually see how many of them have uh, submitted the solution on the sih platform so make sure you pick the problem statements uh, where the submissions are less uh, that's a trick i can tell rightly said shivanand so basically a good team is very much required and on the top of it i think a good team leader who can you know entail the entire team and take them till the whole journey of the hackathon is very much important adding on to that i think uh, a good mentor there could be many chances where there could be many challenges that a team faces so exactly there's a mentor which is very much important during this entire process it could be an academician it could be an industry expert so that is i think uh, would be and you would also agree to it and rightly said as a third uh, point that the trick that you gave that uh, you know uh attend or submit your ideas against the problem statement where less number of solutions are there but actually sometimes just giving you a insight of it sometimes the problem submissions uh, the idea submissions are really less sometimes those ministries back out also so it could be acting against you also so uh in vice versa you know the idea is submit as many as ideas that you can do against a multiple problem statements that increases your chances to you know qualify uh, the initial idea uh, screening phase also so that's pretty much said okay now i would like to ask you because there's a typical template where where you have to put the idea in the initial phase so is there any input that you would like to give that what that presentation that two important slides must contain while you submit the idea Uh, so first of all i would agree with you uh, that to submit to different solutions uh, that's uh, really uh, i agree with so coming to the next part uh, what should be included in the presentation that's actually very uh, very good question so in my case uh, what we usually do our team usually used to do was that we first uh, used to write abstract of what uh, we are doing actually and just uh, in crux like not uh, not elongating uh, on things uh, to be brief and to the context and write crux of what you want uh, the you know evaluators to pick up from your idea right. so idea should be uh, very specific and very unique actually and the two things uh, which i suggest would be to first to write abstract and then uh, a gist of uh, what your solution is what a unique solution you have proposed Right. that's what i would like to suggest right and also one more thing uh, it's really important once you write uh, these two things uh, to get evaluated from your mentor in my case i was very grateful to have a uh, industry uh, like uh, academic mentor she was a phd from uh, iit delhi uh, her name is dr uma mudin gudi uh, i was really grateful to have her uh, i was actually a research scholar under uh, undergraduate researcher under her so she used to verify our abstract and all and her inputs really helped us a lot so as you said it's really important to have a mentor good mentor too so viewers you just heard it from the horse's mouth you know a good mentor is of course needed and also be very precise and very to the point when you're submitting your ideas because these ideas are evaluated by multiple industry experts so these industry experts are really well versed professionals from the industry so when they are looking at your idea they are looking what exactly you are thinking while you will be developing that prototype so be very precise be to the point and talk about the technologies that you will be using while you will you know uh, putting your ideas forward into the next step so yeah so shivanand coming back uh, to the next question 
once uh, the ideas are submitted, uh, what kind of uh, anxiety or curiosity does happen among the team and the team leader and the members? So, yeah, your experience. Yeah, actually, it's a great period, I guess. Uh, it would take around 20 days uh, to get the results published after your idea phase. So that's a period where you can, you know, build up on your idea, implement the first steps. And uh, yeah, there would be curiosity. There would be like, you know, uh, the team would be selected or not. Those things would be there. But you, if you are confident on your ideas, uh, then uh, there should be no way. You should get selected. All right. So as you heard him, be very calm if you are selected well and good if you are not selected then that's not the end there are many more editions and many more hackathons that will come up in the future course right shivanan okay so uh, you know once you screen through the initial idea phase uh, then there's a pretty much gap where you know you start building up on your ideas and parallelly there are some mentoring sessions also that happens for the shortlisted teams so how about uh, those period when you were you know shortlisted in the initial phase and what what were the things that you underwent during that process till the announcement of the noodle centers for the grand finale yeah uh, good question actually so uh, it's really important to i have been selected and uh, let's do in the last week uh, what we can do and we'll see, uh, we'll go to the nodal center and see what will happen. It's not that. You should build up on your idea. Uh, the moment you get shortlisted for, for the idea phase, you should really think upon it, uh, ver uh, verify every stages of your pipeline or whatever your solution is. Uh, check for actually mentoring is what comes uh, here. So mentors give their inputs. You should actually rectify ac according to their inputs and uh, go forward with your solution. So uh, basically, there was some uh, in your case while uh, you were yeah. shortlisted, and uh, those two I around I think there's a, a period of around sixty days, fifty days where you finally end up for the grand finale. Uh, were there any sessions that were organized from the ministries and or from the industry experts or any kind of uh, additional inputs that were given to you during those uh, training periods? Yeah, I guess uh, there were uh, two to three uh, uh, YouTube live sessions that uh, went in our case uh, to how to approach uh, the finale, uh, how should one prepare, how can one stand out in the finale with their solution. Uh, I think uh, Abhay Jere sir uh, had uh, done that YouTube uh, live session uh, twice and uh, yeah, we were also listening to those things. Great. Viewers, you just heard it that during those periods, once you're selected or shortlisted in the initial round, there are a couple of training sessions that also happens uh, from the industry partners or from the experts from the ministry or if not, you know, the vice chairman and the C chief innovation officer, Dr. Abhay Jere himself takes out his valuable time to give insight about this hackathon and how, what all pointers that you should keep in mind while you know while working on your prototype so yeah be very calm start working from the day one once you are announced as a shortlisted candidate for the grand finale don't wait till the end otherwise you might lose out on many such good ideas so yeah shivan so uh, once you moved out uh, from those two months of training periods and uh, you were finally uh, allocated a particular noodle center so were there any challenges initially uh, i'm also adding on to one more question here that uh, because we keep a female student mandatory in each of the teams so first question was there the female student there in your team and second question once the noodle center was announced any kind of challenges that you face and how did you overcome because you have to be physically present over there for 36 hours or more, you know. So, tell me about that. Yeah, definitely. There was, uh, that's a, I think, a criteria from Smart in Hackathon to have a female student in the team. And yeah, we had a female student in the team. And uh, coming to the challenges part, the biggest challenge uh, is that 
uh, the traveling part you need to arrange yourself uh, in such a way that you don't get tired for the 36 hours long hackathon uh, i i would suggest a very important thing here to sleep well like at least 12 hours uh, before uh, you reach the nodal center because you would not have any sleep in those 36 hours, uh, trust me. So it's very important to have a sleep at night before you travel and uh, travel to the nodal centers, be cool, be calm, and yeah, go for the 36 hours I can talk. So viewers don't uh, get scared of, you know, though he has mentioned that have a good sleep, but I think the energy itself is so high during those 36 hours with all the stakeholders being a part of it. I don't think, uh, you know, sleep would be a matter, but of course, health first. So, as he mentioned, take good care of health before the hackathon. Rest, of course, during the session, during the events, you do get time when, you know, you can uh, intermittently, your team can go and have a, you know, some resting period and then come back, join your team. So, that is, uh, that is the whole thing. So, Shivanan, now that we have reached uh, the grand finale noodle center, what was your first... Uh, uh, strategy you know before starting the hackathon and how was the entire experience during all your mentoring session your uh, evaluation session and the process flow of the hackathon if you can talk a bit about it and uh, what are all tips that you can give to uh, you know the first time aspirants for this yeah yeah sure uh, so uh, uh, i would like to say that uh, uh, we didn't had our mentors coming uh, to our uh, nodal center. Uh, there was only our team. Uh, and coming to the nodal center parts, uh, it's very important to know that uh, during our time, we had three uh, evaluation sessions. So we knew that beforehand. Uh, so whenever you know what's going to happen, like how many evaluation sessions are going to happen in the span of two days, it's very important to know uh, that uh, what, what you show in each of the evaluation sessions. That matters a lot. How how your solution brings impact in each and every stage. How do you pitch your solution differently in each stage? Because uh, in every evaluation stage, uh, there will be different judges coming. There will be different uh, people who are uh, coming. Uh, they are, uh, they are going to score you, for which uh, you would be, uh, again, becoming the uh, decided whether you will become a winner or not. So it's really important to decide. Uh, whenever uh, The first step when you reach the nodal center, it's important to decide what what's your plan of action in each of the evaluation sessions that would be held in the two days long ahead so yeah viewers you heard it again have a very clear mindset on what exactly you want to show while you show your you are building your prototype what exactly is the scalability or what would be the impact of your prototype on the solution uh, that you are proposing because again the evaluators are the industry experts, so they know in and out very well. So they are here to judge you or check whether whatever solution that you are proposing is actually in real time is implicable and for further stages, is there a possibility of scalability of those projects. So be very, uh, you know, very sure about each evaluation round what you are up to, you know. That message should go clearly to the evaluators. Thank you. So, Shivanan, if I would say that give a couple of master tips for these first time aspirants, you know, who is coming for the first time to these kind of hackathons, what could it be? And uh, I think uh, that should help. Yeah. So, uh, that's a good question. Uh, there are good questions actually. So, whenever you read, uh, uh, whenever you come to the uh, nodal center, it's really important. Uh, to, you know, to have in mind that there are four other teams who are actually thinking similar to you, who want to beat you at every phase, who want to be ahead of you at every phase. So one master tip I want to give here is how is your idea standing out from this? Uh, obviously, you don't know what's their idea. Uh, but the thing to know here is that everyone would be on the similar phase on on the same things that you are thinking they want to win the uh, win the hackathon so how you stand out by uh, you know being unique 
from the other side yeah, is what is the key and uh, how well you use your implementation that's a good part a good thing actually how well you uh, portray your implementation how well uh, is your product scalable that's also important that uh, judge actually is interested in uh, so that's a uh, uh, tip from my end thanks shivanan that was uh, highly insightful for the first time aspirants who will be joining in this year edition and hopefully they turn out to be winner with your inputs thank you for taking out this wonderful time of yours and helping out uh, these first timers and we wish you uh, all the best for your future endeavors also thank you so much thank thank you so much so viewers that was shivanand for you who knows next time maybe i would be interviewing you so that's from our side prepare well participate well be confident and win the smart india hackathon for more interesting talk shows stay tuned to the channel how to ace the smart india hackathon till then have a good day